So my Twitch chat kept asking me to do a show called Just the Tip. Mike should have a game tip series called Mike Matei, Just the Tip. I, uh, can I steal that? That's really good, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally do that. Yeah. That'd be really that's, funny. That's my new series. But I wanted to make a video anyway about the dreaded hallway in Castlevania right before the Grim Reaper death, where it has all the knights and medusas and all that because a lot of people have a hard time with that section and I have a pretty good method to get through it. So let's get into it. This is just the tip. All right, so people get to this part and they usually have a hard time and they're like, oh my God, there's knights and Medusa. Oh God, oh God, there's an ax. Oh my God, a Medusa head. Oh God, wait, what do I, I I'm gonna kill this knight. Oh wait, what? It's like that. That's what you usually will see. People who get to that hallway and it's just overwhelming. And understandably, there's a lot going on but let me show you what you gotta do. All right, so you wanna get to this area with the holy water, first of all. So if you get to this area and you have the, a different weapon. Right now I ha have the sword. I'm pretty sure early on you'll get a holy water, which you're gonna wanna keep through the level. Oh, there's a times two. Definitely grab the times two. Not that it's gonna matter because I'm gonna replace my weapon, let's say. Yep, holy water, that's where it is, right there. That's where you get the holy water. You wanna keep that holy water through the whole level to be able to do my method. And when you get here, you know, definitely avoid the Medusas and you gotta be moving to, this is the important part, you gotta be moving towards the knights because they back up. You have to be moving towards them and throw that at them and then you can whip too. And that that's how you kill them. So earlier in the level, there's some knights and this, method that I do. It applies to all the knights that are in the game. And I'm moving towards them and you can do that and then that, that's how they die. So remember, moving towards them, jump, throw it. That's what you do. So when you get to this section, you're like, yeah, but now there's Medusas and all that. But the thing is, the Medusas are not that big of a problem if the knights and the axes are all gone. You get rid of the, this is the problem, is getting rid of them. See, now that the uh, knight is gone, you you might be like, well, what about the Medusas? Well, they're not, look at this. They're not a problem at all. Just move out of the way of them. But look, it's like this if the knight isn't there. So just don't worry about them. Now another knight's gonna come up, right? So here comes the other knight. Toss the thing, done. That's what you do. And then the good news is by using this method of stun locking them with the holy water, you'll have the holy water anyway, and you can use it to kill death, which is right here. And you just keep throwing the holy water when the room loads, and death is not a problem because he can't move, and he just dies. Holy water all the way. So the thing is, my method is to do it with the holy water, that's the superior method to use. Um, if you get here and you only have the cross, well, it's gonna be harder. My, my method isn't to use the cross. It's th get the holy water and get here with the holy water <laughs> is the thing. So if you want, if you're gonna use the, if you're gonna use the uh, cross, it's gonna be more difficult. Like you can keep hitting them and you gotta be like dodging the, see look, it's like a, a mess now kind of because I'm using the cross. You don't, that, that you don't wanna use the cross. Okay, so let, let's say that you got the holy water on the fourth candle, you did what I said. You're like, I got the fourth candle, but then I'm like whip, whipping candles and I, I whip this and uh oh, now I have the cross. Well, now I can't do Mike's method. Well, you, you know, you got that, you got that holy water, you did what I said you're gonna have to retain it. So when you whip candles, you like you go up to this, don't do this. Like don't stand, don't like be here and whip a candle because you might accidentally get a different item. Here's, I'm gonna show you how to not do this. You don't wanna do this. Don't do that. So what about the axes coming at you, right? So the axes, see I whipped an ax, but like if you do that, if, you're, if you keep throwing holy water, so if I like, if I'm, if I just throw a bunch of holy water, the, the dude's dead. By the way, the more holy water you throw, the better. I happen to have a times three right now. 
So yeah, I mean, this is a little bit complicated because you know I, I'm I'm whipping Medusa heads as well, as well as whipping axes and stuff like that. But the thing is, you will have you will have less things to worry about. You'll have less things to whip if that knight is dead. The problem people have is the axes just keep coming, and it's like ah, oh, I can't get these knights out of the way to get by. If you get the knights out of the way really quickly then there's less to worry about and it's easier to get down the hallway. So here comes another knight, right? It's like, all right, yeah, there's Medusa heads, but if I get rid of this knight really quickly, there, now I only have to worry about the Medusa head. See what I mean? It's just, it's creating less enemies. So then it's easier. So this part, you have to like load the whole screen and then turn around. This has to be done just right with the right timing. So like if you come in here, you can stand here forever and the Grim Reaper will never come. Like you have to load the screen. But if you like walk all the way over here and then walk back, you're gonna be too slow and then you're dead. Like you can't do it like that. So you do like that as soon as it like clicks in and then you just keep throwing it. If you're like a second late with it, the sights will load and you're gonna die. The other thing is that you have to be jumping to throw the holy water on that platform. So you gotta be jumping in the air. You can't just, you can't be just standing. The rhythm that you do it, like you just gotta throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. It's like that. It's not like throw it, throw it. It's not like that. You do that, the scythes are gonna load and you're gonna be dead. So you do. You do that, it locks in, throw it, throw it, throw it. If you see, if I start, if I delay, see the sights load. Don't worry about it. You would need the ax to get those and just don't, don't worry about it. Like I said, you're going through the level with the holy water. Don't worry about those. All right, let's see what's in these candles anyway. Heart, heart. All right, glad we found that out. Anyway, that's how you get through the hallway. <laughs>